Welcome back to The Zone. Plenty of great basketball action here, and we're not done yet with more games up next. But first, shifting our focus now to wrestling as three of our Siouxland girls remain in contention to win the first ever sanctioned IGH SAU Wrestling State Championships. Their respective classes are on Noah Sacco's in Coralville with all the sights and sounds from an exciting day at Extreme Arena. Just over 1,000 girls wrestled in the state of Iowa last year. But one year later, over 2,300 girls were eligible and registered to wrestle in the state of Iowa. And it all builds up to today. Championship finals night for third place, fifth place in championship matches. And we had three Sioux Lane girls contending for state title glory, just one win away from the ultimate crown. Some pre-match awards to hand out. Sioux City native Jim Salker was awarded as the IGHSAU Official of the Year. Great honor for wrestling veteran. Followed by an Iowa State wrestling tradition, girl style, the Grand March. Movie moment, fans could not stop clapping. Now to the action. In all Sioux Lane showdown in the fifth place match for 110, Western Iowa's Casey Miller and GTR's Trista Gween. Miller striking first and hard with an early takedown. Gween gets on the board with an escape. But Miller showing her mind with another takedown. She she wins it via 7-2 decision. Fifth place belongs to Miller. 115 final. Sioux City North's Molly Seck aiming to emerge a champion. Unbeaten Molly Allen of Riverside, Oakland going right at her with a pair of takedowns. Seck escaping both, but Seck couldn't muster two points of her own in this one, trailing 15-3 before the third period fall. Seck settles for stay runner-up, but the star sure shone bright. Fifth place match in 125. Tatum Shepard of Ridgeview going the distance for a gritty pin over Bellevue. Battle Scars speaking for themselves. She takes fifth place while teammate and defending champ Izzy Deeds follows suit in 145. The reversal and near fall for five, holding on for the 6-3 to three decision. Not where they intended to finish, but still grateful to leave Coralville with wins. Uh, I really wanted to end it on a high note, and I did. And it it definitely made my tournament. Uh, the moment was really special with, I don't know, it's really cool what they're doing up here. I'm glad I placed where I placed that in this tournament. I wish I would have been a little higher, but... I'm just thankful I've got to be able to get the opportunities I get. Back to championships. Defending champ Jaina Terwi of West Lyon back in the 190 final, locking horns with Mackenzie Ahrens of Nevada. Both girls not giving an inch through regulation and the first two overtimes, so we're going to an ultimate tiebreaker. Terwi trying to get position, but Ahrens riding it out for 30 seconds, getting the one point she needs. Heartbreaker for Terwi as she settles for runner-up, but she's still grateful to to get to this point. And finally, the 235 final, unbeaten Olivia Huckfell of Spencer entering the arena to defend her crown, battering Waverly Shell Rock. Just like Olivia knows how to do, she goes right at her opponent. First period takedown, but she wasn't done there. Another takedown for two points in the second period for a four point lead. Moments later, she's got the shoulders tilted and she gets the pin. Huckfelt has done it, a perfect season and a back-to-back -back state champion. Olivia etching her name among Tiger legends. It feels awesome. Um, I knew I could do it and then my, my dream finally came true today. Um, being the first ever champion at 235, just words cannot explain how happy I am right now. Congratulations to Olivia Huckfeld of Spencer on her back-to-back -back state title, along with the numerous other Sioux Lane girls who competed their tails off here at Extreme Arena. But that's going to be a wrap here from Coralville for the inaugural IGHSU Girls Wrestling State Tournament. So for now, Anthony, I'll send it back to you in the zone from Coralville. Noah Sacco, KC Night Sports. Thanks, Noah. Congratulations to Olivia and all of our Siouxland girls wrestlers on an amazing first sanctioned season. But now, back to our basketball action. The MMCRE Royals girls squad has been on fire as of recent. They are on a six-game win streak, putting that on the line against a Galen Catholic squad that beat them back in December. Both of these squads averaging over eight steals per game while allowing less than 55 points per contest. But this one saw some action within the first few seconds right off the tip. Jays gives Nevaeh Hodgson. She gets it to go through the contact. What a start for Galen Catholic Royals. Rumbling on offense, though, Jaden Young pulls up for the mid-range jumper. She puts it through that nylon. Good response for MMCRU, and they were not done there yet. Shot clock dwindling down. Avery Schlenger drilling the deep two with Jays. Looking to get that one back. Good no-look pass here by Maya Whitehead to Rizea Sitzman. They leave her wide open, and it's money. This one went back and forth. Galen Catholic defending home court, though, getting the 59-50 win.
Gracie Sconehoven, seventh in the state in scoring, averaging over 23 points per game. Unity Christian taking on Harris Lake Park midway into the second quarter of the Knights. Up by 22. Unity on the transition pass up to Sconehoven. goes between the two defenders for the hoop for the bucket. More from the Knights a little bit after Sconehoven with a drive in the baseline going up hard for that lay-in. Unity extending their lead and it would not stop there. Jay Lee Woodstra from well beyond the three-point line and it's nothing but net. What a start here for the Knights and the bench is loving it. Wolves though trying to stay in this one. Allison Wallace hits one of the three free throws she would have. Unity would go up the half by 41 and earn the big 71-25 win. Cassie Deckers led the way with 22 points. The Wildcats bring their four-game winning streak into Sioux Center while the Warriors have won two of the last three matchups. First quarter, Warriors pass it into Carson Brunn, who spins and gets the hook to roll in the first score on the board. West Lyon answers back. Devin Van Wee drives into the paint, sidesteps the oncoming defender. Check out the move there and gets the lay in to go. What a play right there by West Lyon. More from the Wildcats in transition shortly after Trevor Siklinski to Van Wee. And look at that difficult reverse with the defender on him. Still gets it to go, but Sioux Center has an answer. Pass over to the corner for Tavian Masson. He hits nothing but nylon three for number three. They'd be tied at 11 apiece going into the second, but it would be Sioux Center coming out on top 50-47. We've got to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere just yet. Coming up, we'll announce our coveted Sports Zone Boys and Girls Basketball Player of the Week. A ton of great contenders, but there can only be one, so stay in the zone. Hi, I'm Carter Severs, last week's Sports Zone's Boys Basketball Player of the Week. Stay tuned to find out who this week's winner is.